Hola, hola, ¿qué tal, my amigos? Welcome back to Learn Spanish World. Today, I have a very important subject. It's in relation to la escuela, the school. Today, we'll be talking about school subjects. This is very relevant because you may be attending a school or university or you may know somebody who's currently enrolled in a subject of some kind. The first word we're going to learn is asignaturas. Asignaturas means subjects. Asignaturas. Asignaturas. And this can apply to either schools, universities, or colleges. The first subject is very relevant to what we're learning. That is Español. It's a very relevant to what we are learning. And that is Español. Spanish. Español. The next subject is also very popular. Inglés. English. In many Spanish-speaking countries, students do learn English. Inglés. 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 Another popular subject in many schools, if not all of them, is matemáticas, which is mathematics or maths. Matemáticas. Let's move on to the next subject. Next asignatura. Historia. Don't forget the H is silent, so you do not, you do not say historia. You pronounce it as historia. Historia. Let's see what comes next. Geografía. That's right. That's right. You guessed it right. Geography. Geografía. The G here sounds like a H. Geo. Grafia. Another popular school asignatura is ciencia. Science. Cien. Cia. Repeat it with me. Ciencia. That's correct. That is science. An extremely important asignatura in school. There are more asignaturas which you probably have heard of in Spanish. Educación física. Physical education. Educación física. Which is related with the sports, movement, training. Once again, let's revise a very important one which is ciencia, science. I have repeated some of these asignaturas in order to help you memorize them. Ciencia. Informática, which is IT. Informática. Notice the accent on top of the A. That's for emphasis. Informática. Try repeating after me. Repite. Informática. Very good. You're doing very well. Oh, this one is one of my favorite ones. And I can imagine it's also the favorite of many of you. Música. Music. Música. Música. That was one of the most fun subjects I had in school. Next one. Biología. Biology. Biología. Once again, the G sounds like a H. Biología. Siguiente. Next one. Psicología. Psychology. Psicología. Psicología. 
Some schools do teach psicología. Algunas escuelas enseñan psicología. Let's pronounce it. Repite después de mí. After me. Psicología. 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 Muy bien. Excelente. Now, this one is an important one. A very important asignatura. Literatura. Literature. Literatura. 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 Sociología. If not taught in schools, this is definitely one of those asignaturas which is taught at university level. Sociología. Join together. Sociología. So most of these asignaturas are taught at a school, but don't forget some are also taught in higher education institutions. Filosofía. Fi lo Sofía. When I was in high school, I was taught Filosofía. Now, this one is a must. Adventure to say in 99.9 .9 of the schools, they do teach Geometría. Geometría. Geometry. Geometría. This one is taught in many secondary colleges and schools. Química. Química. Repite. Química. Which means chemistry. This one is an easy one. You can see the relation between English and Spanish. Arte which means art. Arte. Let's not forget there's many words of a Latin origin in both languages. We can make connections between both English and Spanish, even with this word. Física. Physics. Física. Repite. Física. Muy bien. We almost there. Don't give up. No te rindas. Ciencias sociales, which means social science. Ciencias, plural, sociales. Muy bien. Let's continue. Oh, this one is an important one for many kids. Recess in Spanish is recreo. Re, cre, o, recreo. Everyone always waits for recreo. A lot of kids can wait for recreo. This one is another important key word. Almuerzo. That means lunch. Al, muer, so. Repite. Almuerzo. Muy bien, you're doing just fine. Well done. Keep going. Don't give up. Horario. Timetable. Horario. Horario. So the teacher always gives you an horario. So you know which asignaturas to go to. So you know which asignaturas you have next. Japonés which means Japanese. In many schools in Australia, they teach Japanese. Japanese. Another very important language is Chino Mandarin, which means Mandarin Chinese. Chino, Chinese, Mandarin, Mandarin. Chino Mandarin. Francés. French. 
francés. Francés is also related to Spanish, along Portuguese, Italian, and Romanian. Cursos, courses. In some countries, instead of saying asignaturas, they may refer to it as ramos or cursos. These three words mean exactly the same thing. In other words, they are synonyms. Very good, my dear amigos, and that was all for today. Remember to review the video, in that way you will be able to store all these new words in your long-term memory. I will be producing more videos for you, so don't forget to check back. I've been a bit busy this week, but I got some exciting surprises for you in the near future. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Adios, amigos.